What is up, everybody? Yo! Welcome back to Conversations from, from Above. Above. Coming back to you with another episode. Um, new conversation, new location. And today, we're not in Tennessee. We are not. But, let's introduce ourselves. I'm James. I'm Isaac. And I'm Filipino. And I'm Puerto Rican. All right. Now Dude, we got that out of the way. By the way, it's opposite for you guys who are new. I hope you guys aren't like seeing us and just be like, "Yo, Isaac, yo, James," and just completely messing it yeah, up. Yeah, for the rest of our careers, bro. That's what they're gonna call. Oh, gonna dude, call you be Isaac, freaking, me James. That'd be freaking hilarious. That would be the funny. That would be so useless. Really thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> they just confuse the crap out of us. Dude, I'm gonna like sign autographs and like my signature, yeah. and people will be like, mm, "You're mm, that doesn't say Isaac." Yeah. <laughs> people are just gonna be upset. No, but. Um, we are located in, uh, we took a six hour drive. Yeah. It actually didn't feel like six hours. Um, but six hour drive to one of, uh, the places I grew up in, um, Valdosta, Georgia. Yeah. Um, so I, my dad was, uh, in the Air Force for you guys who didn't know. And we got stationed here for like four years, almost five. Damn. Um, but yeah, it's a, he got stationed here and I met some of the coolest dudes, um, growing up. And they're the people who made me who I am today. With, you know, the goofy, uh, you know, personalities and, like, just, you, you know how it is. But, um, yeah, we're in this place called Freedom Park, which is, like, down the road from uh, the house that, you know, I grew up in. And um, so, honestly, this park, it has everything. Basketball court. Yeah, it really does. I've realized it has a lot of, like, just, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot bigger than the park that we have at home. Like, eight baseball fields, <laughs> five soccer fields. Yeah, it's, and there's a dog park here. Yeah. A huge frisbee golf, uh, like field. fields, and shit like that. And right now we're actually like in this like back road that leads into like the fields. Yeah, like, I think a little Nas is back there riding his horse. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, um, how do you how do you like it here, dude? How do you like Valdosta? like Valdosta? Yeah, it's you? pretty nice. It's like, it's like a little wind. It's like a little Franklin County, but imagine there being like actual like. Stores and malls there. It is. It's a bit, it's a good sized town. Yeah. It's not like a major city, but it's a good sized town. You got yeah. everything. Um, mm, you got a little mall. You got a bunch of restaurants. Yeah. You got pretty much everything you need. You know. Do you compare it to Florida a little bit? Yes, it's a lot like Florida. The nature wise of it, the landscape, the, just the feel, the humidity, the sun. Yeah. It's just like it is really close to Florida too. It really so is. It like, makes sense to why the weather's. Yeah. Like well, it. the thing is with Valdosta, it's like literally like. After 30 minutes, you'll reach, like, the Florida line. Um, you'll find, you'll, like, there, you won't find, like, a major city, like, once you cross there, but yeah. you're in Florida, basically. But, no, it, it's it's something like the weather, nature, but a lot more different than Tennessee, for, for sure. Yeah, right? just for, for days. Sure. Like, right now, we're, like, next to ponds. I'm just worried about an alligator, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's why I don't mess with... Maybe alligator coming down here. Yeah, exactly. I don't mess with, like, down here. You saw that, that video, that dude just... RKOing the alligator. <laughs> yeah. Dude, anyway. if none of my, if none of you, like, you know, if any of my friends, like, if y'all ain't doing that shit... Yeah, to, if you are not RKOing an alligator, alligator for, for me, me, bro, like, you guys are my friends. We'll show you guys a clip right here. <laughs> right here. Yeah, and right here. Right, right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> I never put them in either. Project, yeah, you, I thought it was they, funny. They're, they're not going to understand because yeah. we never had the video, but you yeah. guys will eventually. Um... No, dude, how do you, how's your experience so here, right, like, Yeah, know? pretty good so far, you know, I have, like, everyone here seems kind of like Tennessee, they all seem pretty country, um, or they're more of, like, you know, just African-American, so it's like, you gotta mix your both. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's so. barely any colored people in our town, it's just kind of, it's more of a country, urban kind of. Yeah. Yeah, but Valdosta is a lot more diverse. Yeah, yeah. For sure. For so, like, sure. whenever we went, like, whenever we go to the mall or anywhere, it's just, you know. Yeah. It's, really, see, it's just, like. That's what Georgia mostly yeah. is, though. We got here, uh, like, yesterday, um, and we did a lot of stuff. It was, yeah, it was such a long, it was such a long day. No, but the drive here, six hours, didn't feel like six yeah, hours. Yeah, it felt really short. Yeah, so. honestly, you guys should have honestly, like, been there for us to, uh, like, if we recorded. Yeah. We had some pretty good conversations. We might do it on the way back. On the way South back. Sure. Be ready. Yeah. But let me tell you guys something about this park. So, Freedom Park, like I said, it was, like, it's down the road from this neighborhood I grew up on. Um, everybody comes here to get laid. It's, it's one of the, every town has one of those hangouts where, like, you know, people go here, like, at night to, like, get their dick sucked. But, uh, no, for real, though, but, like, people come here all the time to, like, get laid. One of my homies, like, I bet you all right of Right where we're sitting, at least 300 kids have lost their virginity. Right <laughs> Probably, yeah. really, honestly. We're sitting on, like, history of, like, just a bunch of nuts everywhere, like. 
<laughs> a history of nuts all on this yeah. trail, dude. Yeah, for real, though. Like, I bet you you'll find at least a couple condoms, like, out oh, here. Yeah. No, but, but, for real, though, uh, I love Valdosta. It's, um, it's, one of, it's one of the places I'm going to come back to, for sure. It's been, ever since I moved to Tennessee, um, it took me five years to, to say for me to come visit. It's been long overdue. It really has. But I don't know. I just don't. Ima- I just can't. I couldn't picture myself like driving six hours, like being younger than like maybe like eighteen. Yeah, or you know? doing something like that. Yeah, because that kind of that's that's a long drive for like you know such a young kid. I know some of you guys out here like, well, I used to drive like eleven hours when I was twelve. Yeah, man, <laughs> look at you, bro. Look at you, bro. Well, I'm not like you, bro. I got freaking like I get paranoid. I'm gonna yeah. be like walking down the street and get shot. You know, like that kind of stuff. I just watch my car going on a, on a vacation. So yeah, keep me my nuts. You know, like yeah. You know? Flip your car in the interstate, dude. For real. I, I do not like driving. That's why, like, that's why I don't like taking like just any like long rides at all. Yeah. yeah. Like driving myself because I just feel like right. I'm a flipper. Oh, uh, um, before that too, like, what really kind of held me back is that I had this like really shitty Mustang. No, it was reliable, but not yeah. six hour drive reliable. Yeah. Like, I just got this, you know, this car that I drive now, who's like super reliable. Like maybe like a year ago, so. I took, I'm taking advantage of like getting having yeah. a new car and taking it to places. If I tried taking my car anywhere, it would probably blow up. Dude, yes, like, for sure. Like driving it more than an hour. That's honestly like super fun. Like transportation, not like trans- transportation is good, but like something to be like you know reliable. It's something that's gonna last you. Yeah. Like so, we like I I hate like um. I've met people who were like whose parents get cars all the time, right? Yeah. But the thing is, they're always shitty cars, and the reason why they keep getting, like, new, like, brand new vehicles in their driveway is because they pick the shittiest cars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would rather take my time to, like, you know, like, be a carless and borrow someone's car for, like, two months while I, like, you know, strategically... Save up for a good car. Yeah, yeah. on top of that, like, strategically, like, you know, uh, like, take my time to, like, look at, you know, different rides car compared to other Yeah, cars. don't just get a car as, like, that's, possible. Yeah, for sure. And that's not even about cars. Like, anything. Like, anything that's, you know, you you know you're gonna, you want to have a, a house, lot. A house, know. a phone, compare, you know, a laptop, you know, other devices. Compare it to other things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at, look at every possible option you have, you know. For real. Like, okay, I'm really bad with, like, I'm terrible with, like, um, like, hopping on the bandwagon and like hopping on the trends like you know yeah. like i'm really bad at it. like because like i feel like you know since everybody has it i feel like it ha- it's gonna be a good product but it's not always that case yeah there's so much there's so many underground devices you know like yeah. companies industries that you know i want to say like it's just as good for like the lower price and stuff like that yeah. you know like we mm. talked about apple like the other like yesterday uh, yeah they set trends but like they don't like create those trends you know they exactly didn't, they didn't create like like face ID. You know? Yeah, it's always been a thing. They just kind of made it big. Yeah, they they set the trend for it, you know. They really? made it like what like everyone wanted, but that's just what some companies can do. They're just good and at can it. Can you name one thing that Apple started though? Like what trend they really started though? Um, I don't. Well, they kind of had set a trend of like just their own do their their own thing. You know, their setup like how their phones yeah. are set up. No other phone is like iOS is. Yeah, their Gorgeous. software. I, there's no way. I, I am not trading iOS for nothing, bro. Yeah, the the software for like iPhones is pretty. It's super nice. I think I think that's one of the biggest things about them. Yeah, Even yeah. though they are late on trends, like it's so simple and just so like nice and like everything's just so made so well. Like they really work hard on their software. You know, when yeah. they come out with a new chip, they mm-hmm. make sure everything's like it's it's like everything looks crisp and runs crisp. Yes, yeah, for sure. What no? What blows my mind is their like their updates. Yeah. Like, I, because right now, what are we at? iOS? I don't even know. I was 13, 13. point some. I but, like, say. yeah, like, so right now, like, before that, I was like, dude, this is such a perfect setup. You know, like, there's no way they could get something better yeah. than this. And they come out with something better. Something yeah, it's like when they come efficient. out with a new layout, it always looks Yes. Like, yeah. Oh, man. Or, like, the fact that um, people who could jailbreak theirs and have a whole different setup. Oh, Jailbreaking is dope, yeah. Fucking blows my fucking mind. But that's the thing. You know, that's the thing. It blows your mind. But Android, like, the phone's already jailbroken. Like, you can do anything with... They, like, jailbreak... Like, you have to go through all these steps to do it on an iPhone, but an Android already does it. So why is it so interesting to, you know, a person... Yeah. ...that, like, an iPhone can do it? And that's what, like... I think that's what Apple does the best. It's like, for some reason, they can hook someone. Even if it's, like, something that's already out there. It's just, like, they hook them, and they're, like... They make us someone look at their product in a totally different way. Yeah, yeah for than, you sure. Know, like something else, and it's just like fascinating. Yeah, I completely agree. But the thing is, with Apple, is just I feel like they're just so big that like no matter what they do, 
they're always gonna have buyers. They're always yeah, gonna have no people buying what. their stocks. They're always gonna have you know people gonna who buy, buy their products the product. just for reviews. They're gonna have people buy their products, you know, just for like you know content wise. Mm-hmm. And let's let's get, let's get this right. Like Apple, like never comes out with a bad product. Let's be honest. They got some <laughs> smart dudes working in there. Or do you feel something different? Okay, iPhone col- the what, iPhone five colors that that was ass. I'm not gonna. Yeah. But like no, like no, like let's say like maybe it's ninety percent. I know what you mean. Yeah. I know where you come from. Yeah. But still but today, like, people still bought those products. Though. See now that's that's another good reason to why I think they're at the top. It's because like since their products that when they come out, it's like they take so long, you know, to come out with like a Face ID or something. It's like they come out so perfect. The like. Yeah. You know, it's like there's nothing wrong with it. It's like they just took the best. Like technology and just put it all into a phone, right? Mm-hmm. It's already been out there, but they all just put it into their phone and just made it like an all around like great device. Yeah. And I think that's another thing that does play a big factor into them. Like you are right, like they just they can make their like most of the stuff they come out with is never bad. It really isn't. Yeah, it's like yeah. Like, like Samsung, like they've had their hiccups. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, they put out so much to new technology that it's just too much for people to keep but up with. But the thing is I feel like Samsung is still like it's everybody owns Samsung, but I feel like because people are more uh, like entitled to iPhones, people hate on Samsung more yeah. more than anything else. You know, mm-hmm. it's because it's just too rough. It's like Nikes and Adidas. Like if you're a Nike fan, you're gonna hate one thing. You know, like if you're gonna if you're a diehard Adidas fan, you're gonna hate the other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I feel like Samsung really does. Um, they really do come out with like the biggest projects. Yeah, they do. They, like they do even if it doesn't turn out, the concept of what they do is still pretty. It's putting big. ideas out there, you know. Oh yeah. Someone's gonna pick up that idea, and then they might. Be so able would to you think? So would you say Samsung, uh, like creates trends? Like do you like not? I think they they create trends. They don't set them though. They create, yeah, for sure. Apple. I think they set trends. Let me get that. Galaxy and Samsung, they set trends for sure. Yeah, yeah. But they don't set them like Apple does. Yeah. I don't think anyone can really do what Apple does. I feel like going, like, I feel like iPhone gets their idea, like, getting bigger, like, let's, let's be honest, like, fucking Samsung came out with, like, the Note and, like, you know, these huge tablets, and people saw, it was like, dude, the screen is huge, people like big screens. Yeah, and, like, the side of the screen, like, the side of the phone is the screen. Yeah. Like, they come out with some crazy and stuff, And then now you know? Apple's like, now, then Apple's like, holy shit, you know, let's come out with a bigger iPhone, the Plus. Yeah. And then people, you know, people were like, what the fuck? This looks like a note, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, Samsung really do, like, you know. But, like, they, not everyone realizes that. Mm-hmm, you know? Yeah, nobody does, because everybody's just so entitled to iPhones. They like, just, don't get me wrong, I'm an iPhone user. We're yeah. both iPhone users. Like, I, there's nothing wrong with, that, you know, iPhone. There's nothing wrong with Samsung. They're both huge yeah. companies, you know? They're, they're getting paid big money. Mm. But I just feel like, um, like, Samsung doesn't really, they, you know, they don't really get the credit. Like, they, they just, I feel like they get more hate. Than you know the credit like there's yeah. uh, don't get me wrong there's uh, there's people out there who probably love Samsung like my my dad switched from iPhone to Samsung like their Note Nine cameras fucking oh yeah it's or good. is it ten is it no the tens and no yeah they have the oh, yeah. ten and the twenty though. at this moment they're at like nine or something but no the camera there's a twenty plus remember we saw yeah yeah saw that. no but their cameras are fucking gorgeous they're fucking the resolution on those phones are fucking diehard gorgeous and, and I always thought that was the funniest thing because like that's what Samsung gets roasted on the most is their camera quality because mm-hmm. like. Like, to media, that's one of the things, too. Like, media will take, like, the smallest thing and, like, just zoom into that one spot and, like, make something, a product look like shit from, like, yeah, the smallest yeah. thing. Because, like, the camera quality that people always be talking about on Android, that's just dude, on, yeah, that's dude. on Snapchat. That's all it is. Yeah, it's Because, like, the problem with it, it's, like, iPhones, they come out with three iPhones every year, right? Mm-hmm. You got the 10, the 10 Plus, and the 10S Plus or whatever. Is it Samsung or the iPhone? No, I'm saying, like, Apple, like, every oh, year, they yeah. come out with, like, the 10, the 10s, and then the 10s, like, Max, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, let's say those are three phones, they do that every year, and then the 11, and whatever. And, right, Snapchat just has to make an overall Snapchat for three different phones. Mm. Then you got Android software, right? You mm. got to make it for the software. You got Android software, and you got about, like, a couple of thousands of phones. So, like, they got to make it for each one, so when they make a Snapchat for the software, yeah, yeah. they kind of just dumb it down right yeah it's like when you pull out your snapchat on the android the camera looks like shit because mm-hmm. like the software isn't like completely updated for like your camera to look as good as the camera does right but like it looks like shit and like the media takes just snapchat camera look like crap and they're just like and yeah, make a meme out of it. garbage samsung garbage <laughs> <laughs> fuck samsung they're the worst and i'm just like damn bro yeah, but the, the thing is what how why i think i honestly think that samsung 
does more for, te- for technology than iPhone does. I think they do too. Like, they, they 100% the fact do. that they okay, so like Sam, like iPhones, like Apple, what did you know what they got? You know, laptops, fucking you know, cellular devices, um, what? TV, like Apple, or, Samsung, TVs, refrigerators, yeah, they got like phones, every, they got everything you could probably think of. Yeah. they got VR, they got whatever the fucking fuck yeah, like speaker of. systems, yeah. like they really, you know, they're really out here like trying to like put new technology yeah. out for us, you know? Mm-hmm. And th- that's what really gets me, like, you know, like, but the thing is, like, I'm so, I feel like I'm only entitled to iPhone because it's something I, like, it, because, like, everybody has it, let's be honest, everybody has yeah. an iPhone. Um, freaking iOS is just great. I, I can't see myself yeah, using any Yeah, iOS other. is a nice software. I, I, that's I think that's And, but the thing is, Samsung does make, like, they're, they make their devices as easy as iOS. Let's be honest. I just think, I, no, uh, I don't you don't think, think so. so? You think you think iOS? Because that's and... that's what Apple does good. I think that's what they do the best. It's like you got to think. It's like, um, I think I think technology would advance a lot faster if we didn't have Apple. Not gonna lie, as weird as that sounds, but I'm gonna just tell you right now. It's just because like Apple, I think they do great because like they take since Samsung's putting out so much, yeah, yeah. you know, technology. Apple takes the best of it, and at the end of the year. Throughout the year, you know, they're taking all this new technology that, like, other companies are putting out and then just make it into one thing, put it out, right? Mm -hmm. And then as humans, as Americans, we're, like, we like simple, you know, straightforward. So, like, you got all this super dope technology all into one device from Apple. People are going to be like, okay, cool, I'd rather just have that than rather rather than having, like, a phone that has a face ID from Samsung than having another phone that has the software, you know. Yeah. The iPhone just takes it all, to the best parts, and just put it into one. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, there's too many Samsung devices or yeah. Android devices. So I like, know what you mean. And the thing is, if people were more open to just different things, you know, yeah. as confusing as it is, you know, since it is so much, I feel like we would advance more, but mm. people rather wait I know a year just to get an iPhone. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because I feel like people who, I feel like people would, people should educate themselves with technology not just from one company like Apple, yeah. but like surround themselves with other technology for like you know the broader um, distance of like you know Samsung, LG, freaking Bose, like you know just the whole yeah. the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? Like with you, like you just discovered uh, these Bose like glasses that yeah. play music. These this is insane, guys. Like this is uh, the coolest. Thing yeah. Ever. So it's these sunglasses made by Bose. Uh, the freaking what are they, they speaker yeah. just, they make headphones and speakers yeah if you guys don't know like Bose I'm sorry like no yeah. but no they're, they're sunglasses with different designs and they play quality music it's so good and you can't hear it from it other distances it was the coolest thing like yeah it's like these waves you just like go straight into your brain yes and like you hear the song clear, clear. as day yes. like same as like having my airpods in or something and like the per- I couldn't even hear when you had them on. Yeah. I could not hear yeah. it. It was craziest. Thing. Yeah, the to- technology is insane to the day. But no, what I'm saying, like, you should like people who are like, yeah, this is the best, you know, the best iPhone. But then it's like, okay, what do you compare the iPhone to? You know, yeah. they're gonna say a Samsung. Like, okay, yeah, you know, like-, what I'm saying? like there's so many more phones out there. Like, uh, the freaking like how Razer made phones. There's that new flip shit. Yeah, exactly, bro. Try bending your iPhone. See how that works. <laughs> oh, it did at one point, but not how people The iPhone want. 6, bro. <laughs> the iPhone 6 had the problem where it was bending. bending that was dude. funny. Because you had it in your back pocket and you were mm-hmm. sick. Yeah, that was a really big problem. Now it was. It was it. huge because, like, people, like, made music about it. Yeah. It's like, this, what is it? It's a, it was like a Coke can. It was kind of, like, basically keeping a Coke can, like, an empty uh, aluminum in yeah, your back it pocket. Yeah, pretty open. bad. It's fucking insane. But, no, like, really, though... I know what you mean with um, that people really do. Like, if iPhone wasn't here, like, people would be more, yeah. you know, uh, would educate themselves with more technology. And I just think not everyone's into technology like we are. You yeah, know? I can't expect everyone to be like that. Yeah. And I can expect people, like, you know, to just want something simple. They just want the best technology in one device at the end of the year. That's all they yeah, want. Yeah, it really is. People, like, with technology, people want, you know, efficiency. Efficiency, simple. It's just, like, they don't want to look too, dim- too deep into it, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's- but... At the same time, like people like big screens, like, yeah. you know Samsung. Well, you know, it trips me out the, how the when Samsung came out with like the curved like monitors and TVs, yeah. so you could see it from any angle. That's I, impressive. I think that's cool. Yeah, I think it's like cool. because it, it it works. Yeah, when the curved TV first came out, that was probably the most interesting. thing. And now they put on their monitors and everything though. And then the fact that, like, they put their screens and stuff on, like, refrigerators. You don't yeah. see Apple coming out with refrigerators. Yeah, where's your refrigerator? Apple, huh? Yeah, he's like, I mean, they probably, maybe. Well, I, I have know. some apples in my refrigerator, yeah, yeah. but, like, other than that. Yeah. 
Um, so, dude, what about the Apple Watches? Like, did Samsung come out with a smart watch before Apple Watch? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah. But Apple Watches would be crisp as heck. They I'm really not even going to lie. Like, I feel, the, do you think Apple has a way of, like, taking ideas and making it better, though? Yes. 100%. And not on all things, but a lot of things. And a lot yeah. of things they do. Some, yeah, some things I think they do. I think they did the Apple Watch great. I really yeah, think. Yeah. Especially the um, Series 5. I think it's probably the best, like, the Apple Watch talkies, on the market right now. That's fine. Yeah, I the think watch. that's so cool. No, but we were talking about how um, whenever this Apple is so big, you compare, you call everything from an Apple name. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like people who have freaking, like, off-brand or, like, Samsung, or, like, you know, like, some yeah. kind of other earphone in the head, you, like, you know, that are wireless yeah. and they go in a little pocket, you call them AirPods. Yeah, but this is like how my little sister, she has a Android tablet. It's Android, but she calls it an iPad because no one calls it, like, a tablet. Or, like, exactly. It's kind of... They they just set the name so perfect that it kind of engraves it like in your head like yeah. naturally for some reason. And if you really think about it, like, is there really anything like is there something out there like that that really does that? Like, is there another company that like you you call things like that by their product? You know, like no, like, I, I just, I'm thinking like cars don't do that, right? I don't yeah, look yeah. at a car and I'm just like, oh, is that a Ford? No, because they're all like you know yeah, Honda, yeah. Ford. Like, there's so many like. Um, is there another product that does yeah, that? Yeah, like another company that lets you, that makes you, like, that makes call you them call, by yeah. a different, by their name of, yeah. of something else. a different else. company, yeah. I don't know. Um, I, the only thing, the only one that I can think of right now is Apple. Just, like, calling yeah, things exactly. like AirPods or, like, iPads, yeah. For sure. That's crazy. That really is wild. When you really think about it, that's, like, no, you, company, other, no other company does Do you that. think Apple's going to be here forever? I think, I think if, if it comes to, like, being here forever, I feel like Samsung is... I feel like Samsung's gonna last longer than Apple because the way they advance their technology better than Apple. But at the same time, Apple be still an idea. So. Yeah, it's like, could Apple really work without all these yeah, other yeah. phone companies? And then, like, it could because yeah. you always get out. But I'm gonna get this straight though. Samsung really does more te- for technology. It really does. Yeah. Like, if any, if anybody's gonna help with space exploration, I f- or like you know anything super advanced that's gonna get yeah. us somewhere, it's gonna be Samsung. Yeah, I think so too. Cause they, I don't. If you really look deep into what they do, they do a lot of like stuff that they don't even just put on media. You mm-hmm. know, they just do the stuff just because they want to do. You know, they yeah, just, yeah. Like they'll spend like millions of dollars to like investing into something. Like no one will know about it, and like and they don't care though. You know, it's yeah, like they don't yeah. care if people know. That's fine with them. It's just like they're not gonna spend the money on like advertisements because they rather spend that money on like yeah, yeah. working on the product. But then you got people like Apple's like they spend their money on advertisements. You know, yeah, they yeah. pay like maybe Drake a million dollars to have yeah, his yeah. phone on a commercial, and then people buy it. How I see Apple users and Samsung users is that people who use like, uh, like you know, Galaxy phones are are there for the for the technology, but then there's pe- then, I um for Apple users, I feel like Apple users are are more there for the status. Not all the time, but yes, one hundred percent. Because honestly, I would probably say I have an iPhone. Part of it mostly is because of status. status. Like, cause like I rather like I like technology, but like status symbol of a iPhone is like. But I also want to say it's like when I looked into getting a phone, it's like I looked into like what phones had like some of the best software and like, yeah. like I told you like, I bought it. I bought this phone when it first came out. So like during that time period, during those couple months to where like no, like they. They already took the best technology and put it into the phone, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, for these m- couple months, people are, like, making now the best new technology. So then at the end of the year, Apple can take it. And, mm. and obviously. But, like, for that time, this phone was the best phone. Like, yeah. right now, obviously, it ain't anymore. But, like, for yeah. a certain... That's the thing. It's advancing all the time. But, like, for for a couple months, it was the best phone at the time. So it's, like, the software, it's not like it was even bad. It was still a great phone for the time. I'm just... Know? I'm ready for holograms, really. Like, for your, yeah, honestly, for your screen yeah. to pop up. Elevate keyboard, like <laughs> exactly, dude. It's gonna be insane. But what I really look forward to, like phones, is multitasking. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait till phones end up like you know being like a, a like a computer basically. Like, iPads your, are there. Yeah, iPads are there, but the thing is, it's too big at the moment. Yeah, I understand. But that. like at the same time, I wouldn't mind having an iPad either, um, because like shit, like right now, iPads are basically turned to computers. Like they're making keyboards for them. Like I see people in my class, like you know. Who have plot iPads have a keyboard? Yeah, so. exactly. Like if you have an iPad Mini and have a little keyboard to it, just imagine that. Cause that's just something in your backpack you pull out and you type easy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was wondering. Cool. Hold on, before we do this, I know for a fact that my fucking do not disturb is on. You're not do not disturb is on. Your dad's supposed to call you. Oh, it's not on. <laughs> yeah, my. but can we turn it on like while we're still recording? I don't know. Uh, 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna test that. Like, <laughs> I know what you mean. I know. Where what you we mean. at though? Twenty four minutes. We only got six minutes. Okay, That's but hopefully hope. your dad don't be gone. We're so bad at this, dude. We're, we're so bad. We're elite. We, we always get too got excited so- and we just set everything up and we just like let's start recording, bro. Yeah, just for about sure. It. No, but with fucking um with the the laptop thing, like I, yeah, with the multitasking with your phone, like. One thing I hate um, about, like, iPhone is that you have to swipe out of one app to get to another app. Samsung did really well with that, with the with the edge, that you're able mm. to, like, everything's right there. It doesn't close out your apps. You just go yeah. back and forth to, like, this edge thing, you know. And it's, like, super convenient because, like, you leave off where, you know, you want to leave off on. Yeah. Apple's, you know, like, there's some of their apps, you know, don't do that. Like, with YouTube, like, sometimes even if I don't close out YouTube or something, it's, you know... Like, I have to go search my video or something. Yeah, it, it really does suck. But with that, because with multitasking, like, with a college student and owning a business, you want you want those two things for mm-hmm. facts. You know what I'm saying? If I could take a test and, like, look up the answers, like, <laughs> split this, you know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, why you trying to scam? Like, you want this stuff to, like, scam the system, bro. No, man, everybody know about Man, shut up, bro, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for you. No, but I understand that though. With the multitasking, because like laptops, you know, like, like they're cool and all, but I don't want to keep busting out a fucking laptop. But that's the thing, bro. Like other companies already do this. Like I said, it's just Apple, bro. They just take a while to get to that trend. It will, yeah. It's like I think it took, I don't know, it probably took them, I want to say like ten years to come out with the widgets. Like, Maybe longer than that. What for do you Apple. think? Like, so with phones, do you think there will be at a certain extent where it's just like.